Okay, you guys, this is the find of the day. I've got you over here at Fort Yukon East. <clears throat> Excuse me. Check this out. We're looking east. Watch this replace our sun that you just saw. Did you see that? Let's watch that again. There's the sun, right? Up above. Watch this. What is that? It merges. Then the other object disappears. Oh, and that's not even the best part. Oh, and check out the lens flare. There's the lens flare. The sky turns green. Did you catch that? What? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's let's stop. Let's stop that for a minute. Okay, we're looking east. The moon. Let's just check that. The moon will rise at 12:12 12, 12 a.m. 12 minutes after midnight. Or it'll rise at 6:54 a.m. yesterday. Or it sets. I'm sorry. So, regardless, it's a few minutes apart that this is... I, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm excited and I can't figure out how to get this out. 12, 12. So, 12 minutes after midnight. It's not midnight. We're at Fort Co Yukon East. You can see the date. It's Friday the 19th, July 2019. So, yeah, that appears to be a light like the sun coming up there, right? What popped out right here? Check out the red, red area around it not like a warm yellow sun so I'm saying no no that's not our sun and that's not our moon either I just so showed you the moon rise for Alaska and some people are literally telling me that they believe oh no they're not just saying or suggesting they're saying that is a flat-out lens flare okay Lens flares do not follow the object across the sky. A lens flare will swing from right to left, usually on these cameras. So if the object is moving this way, the lens flare will swing that way, that way, backwards, away from the object. Not follow it through the sky, then merge with it, and then one object disappears. There we go. See this? What's happening right there? So, did the other sun disappear? I mean, I'm not sure what happened right there, right? And it's too dark on the ground for that to be our sun. And then it changes color. So yeah, I'm totally with the sun simulator thing because I believe our real sun is getting eclipsed by these objects. And check out this lens flare that's going to form right here and swing this way. See it right there? Lens flare. What is a lens flare? It's the refraction of the light inside the camera lens housing. Not an object moving across the sky like a planet. How come the top of the sky is not lit up, you guys? Is, is that our sun or not, right? Not. And then what happened right there? Why did the sky just go green? Right? So... Yeah, I'm just going to let that play. As I ramble on, yeah, there's just no way that's a lens flare. 
or, or somehow the lens flare just conjoins with the bright white object? No. But there it is. Okay, so we're catching it consistently. I caught it last week. I think it was the 16th or, or what, two days ago, three days ago, Fort Yukon East in the last video. There is the object. It's still there. If that was our moon, it would have moved from that location a long time ago. And our moon's not full anymore. It's slowly losing part of its roundness. It's a waning gibbous moon. Sorry, you guys. Just getting a little worked up there. I'll calm down. So, yeah. Explain that one to me. Explain it. Somebody, please. And can we please stay, like, in the common sense area of the explanation? Besides just shooting it down like, uh, oh, it's a lens flare. Problem solved. Everybody can go back to sleep now. Give me a break. I don't have a lot of time to do this as it is, and I'll guarantee you I'm not going to waste my time chasing around lens flares. Raven out.